Thank you, Leader. And I hope you don't forgive me for going parochial. Um, I don't normally do this in the Chamber. Um, but I'm going to bring up the issue of a secondary school for Julique this morning. Um, as you know, Leader, um, we have 12 feeder schools in the area that could feed possibly into the Dulik area. Um, we have the land. The land was uh, allocated to uh, the provision of a school by the, the bishop in County Meath. Um, it's a 23-acre site. Um, I have brought it to the attention of the, the Minister for Education, but whatever it is that you can do uh, to maybe speed that up, I would really, really appreciate it. Already this week, uh, a number of parents in our area are getting letters saying that there is no room in schools in Drogheda and Ashburn for their children. So something needs to be done, and something needs to be done urgently. The land is there, it's available, it's ready to go, it's got community zoning, so there's absolutely no reason whatsoever that the Department of Education shouldn't look at Dulik for a secondary school. I also want to uh, concur in what Senator uh, uh, Emer Curry brought up in relation, a number of speakers brought up this morning in relation to Dublin Zoo. Um, yesterday, uh, the Department of Agriculture actually uh, published their document on uh, animal welfare strategy. So I think you know, it is incumbent upon us and this government to look after national institutions like the Dublin Zoo, and it's a staggering cost that they have to face every month. But we need to also ask those that can, that may have a lot of food waste at this moment in time, and there are many, many factories and many, many uh, people in the food uh, production business that may have food waste, that may be able to donate to Dublin Zoo at this time, because they definitely need support. But uh, thank you. So I definitely think we need a debate on that, excuse me. Um, the educational debate with regard to higher education funding, I will certainly make a request. Uh, and Senator O'Loughlin, I absolutely agree with you that the announcement that was made by the Department of Education yesterday, that every and any new school, and two colleagues have brought up the needed, um, for very much needed schools in both Julique and Banalasloe, um, will have ASD units. Uh, and individual ASD teams. But what absolutely should be um, made a rule of law today is that every school in the country, because there isn't a community that we all live in or represent that doesn't have children with special needs, every school that already exists should be compelled, as was in South Dublin last year, <coughs> excuse me, um, to issue a director from the Department of Education so that they should be instructed to have ASD units, however small, and reflect on the needs of the children um, that we serve on. Um, Chair, the very last thing I'll bring up um, is our much loved Dublin Zoo. And I think you can see from the representations that were made here this morning how valuable an institution it actually is. Um, you'd have to commend them. And I don't know if people heard the director on radio this morning for having the ability to have the reserves that they actually have already, that has allowed them to stay open for the last number of months without any income coming in and will allow them to survive until early next spring. But I really do believe it's incumbent upon government to give them and FOTA and other institutions that are much loved by families, whether they have young children or not, um, and my own children are not small anymore, but we still love going. Uh, I think it's incumbent to make sure that we look after them. And I think on all of our behalf, I will write to the Taoiseach today to ask him to make sure that the funding is looked after.